I would get the comment, gosh, you play really good for a girl. Every once in a while, if I was feeling my oats, I would go up to some fellow drummer who was a boy or a man and say, gosh, you play really good for a boy. <laughs> Barbara was an innovator and a pioneer and a risk taker, and she led the way for other women drummers. In 1979, the notion of a woman sitting at a drum kit was very new. Here was Barbara Borden playing the kinds of rhythms that we associated with Art Blakey and Max Roach. We were all stunned by the fact that there was a women's jazz band on the scene. And here was Alive with four instrumentalists and a remarkable vocalist. And there was Barbara Borden driving the beat from a drum kit. Such complicated polyrhythms in conjunction with what Carolyn Brandy was doing with hand percussion in the congas. It was a rhythm section like none of us had heard before. In today's world, where there's so much hostility, so much killing, so much partisanship, we need to find something in the pulse, in the heart, that will bind us together. Barbara's like a drumming diplomat. Wherever we went, as soon as she started playing whatever she was playing, garbage cans or drums, they could feel her communicating with them, her love, her wish to be connected, her wish to heal and understand and be understood.